Welcome back to Community Matters. I'm Bill LeMay. We're finishing up our discussion with Madison Kimry, a very talented 14-year-old. She looks forward to being a part of the first graduating class of uh, the virtual school in North Carolina. It's great to have you here. Thank Hi, you. Thank you for having me. What made you want to go to a virtual school? Um, for me, I've been homeschooled uh, my whole life. Um, I was always two grades ahead. And so it was the public schools uh, in North Carolina you didn't want to accommodate uh, for two grade skips. So my parents were just like, well, we'll do it ourselves. And uh, so I was homeschooled um, up until this year. And now, I'm, um, now that I'm in North Carolina Connections Academy, um, it's giving me a lot of flexibility with my schedule because I'm so busy all the time. And so for me to be able to take school with me places that I have to go and to um, just have that, that I can maybe not do school for a day, but then do it on a Saturday instead. And just instead of having this very like strict regimen of this is what you have to do every single day, it gives me more flexibility. You seem like, I don't know if you're the exception or not, but for a lot of kids, that'd be a difficult thing to do. Yeah. Uh, I keep going back to my own days in schools and I, was, I wasn't really motivated by much, mm -hmm. uh, which I regret, but you look like you are. Yeah. So this system seems to fit you perfectly. Definitely. Um, it, does, it does take some independence to, um, for me as a high schooler, um, it, as as you progress, like if you're younger, it's uh, you rely the the curriculum relies a, a more on the learning coach to help guide you through everything. But as you get older, it kind of weans you off of that and, and requires you to gain more independence, which is great for me going into college and everything. I'm gonna I feel that I'm gonna be m more prepared for college and doing everything myself because my parents don't have that responsibility right now of. They're just kind of like, well, you're doing what you're doing, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that is very cool. Now, you, you're involved in a lot of things, and I'm mm -hmm. going to, but it's all part of who you are. I yeah. mean, you talk about the flexibility, you're very active. Yeah. You went to the White House? I did go to the White uh, why House. Why did you go to the White House? Um, I'm a political activist. Um, I'm involved in uh, pre registration for 16 and 17 year olds, which was um, cut in North Carolina a few years ago. And, um, and getting youth involved in the democratic process and, and politics. And so, um, it was the 50th anniversary of the Voting Rights Act and the White House was having an event and they invited me to come and I got to meet the president in the Oval Office and that it was it was a really, it was surreal and it was an oh, incredible imagine. experience. Imagine. Yeah. So when it comes to this school, and we were talking about the flexibility of it at all, uh, there, what about the, the other part of it, the, the standardized testing and all mm -hmm. of the things that you have to accomplish? Um, how well does this school, uh, uh, you know, uh, take that on and and uh, and help you prepare for that right well for me um, with this school it's a, a lot of a, a lot of my friends that are in brick-and-mortar schools and stuff it's it's like you're just you're studying you're learning for a test and once you take the test that's all you need but f in connections I'm I feel like I'm actually learning this material and I'm remembering this material and um, it's I'm actually learning things instead of just kind of memorizing it to regurgitate it for a test, which um, is really important for me um, as as independent as, as I am, so. Well, yeah, and I can understand that, and it seems like I'm picking up from all of the the folks that we've talked to today, mm -hmm. it's the fact that you're, you're a certain age, therefore you must be in this class, that's, right. that's gone that's with gone. this That's gone, exactly, right. So, um, how, so if do you miss the interaction now? Um, well, for, for me, I'm involved in so many things. It's just like I've never, um, I've always uh, had an easy time just, you know, interacting with other people. And the interaction in, in the classrooms and stuff, we have live lessons every week for um, each class. And um, I'm in this room with my other students and my teacher and like interacting live with them and learning things from the lessons that week. So, and really solidifying the, the understanding of the material. You know, we were talking earlier, um, about with the principal and you have kids coming from homeschooling so yep. you're kind of already adapted to being right. somewhat independent but yeah. you're also dealing with a lot of kids who are coming out of the traditional schools or, mm -hmm. or what have you. Is it tougher for them do you think? Uh, you have interaction with them so. Yeah um, I think I think it's just I think it's kind of I, I think initially it would be more of a shock but once you get that kind of same once you get a a regimen down and you're you have like this this kind of schedule placed for yourself um, which connections actually has built in on the um, on the website you can put it you have your own planner for the week and you can plan things in and put in your other activities like for me rehearsals for plays that I'm in and stuff so it um, 
it makes it really easy to kind of adapt. I mean, it, it takes a little while, but once you get there, I, it's really easy. You miss your homeschooling? Um, I mean, it's not too different for me in some ways. Um, and it's, I enjoy it more um, because it, it's, Again, it's more flexibility, and I'm st and I am still I'm interacting with even more people and stuff like that. So I mean, it's it's not too different, but I enjoy it better personally. For folks who are watching, they have, maybe it's a kid or maybe it's uh, the parents. What would you say to them? I would say um, give it a shot because it, it it could work, and if it works, it could work really well. And um, I really enjoy it, and um, I think it's an awesome opportunity. And I think it's new, and it's uh, using the technology that we have that so many brick and mortar schools may not be using and using the things that my generation is going to be used to and using that as our education, which is awesome. Yeah, well said. Thank you. What a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, thank you I mean, for I having me. I met someone who went and met the president. <laughs> How cool is that? Like second, second degree separation? Yeah, yeah, wow. We must talk more, but yeah. we got to say goodbye. Thank you, though. We thank appreciate it. Thank you so it. much. We'd like to thank everyone for joining us today and thank you for watching. If you'd like to know more, visit our websites at RaleighCW.com and MyRDCTV.com. I'm Bill LeMay. Thank you for watching Community Matters, and we'll see you next week.